another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching team wolf this episode 24 of season 3 hopefully guys have enjoyed this absolutely crazy wild ride of a season honestly it's been absolute madness now speaking of seasons there is a, a vote in the description below where you can vote for your three most favorite seasons of this show obviously we're going to have six of them and you can vote three times and obviously it pulls an aggregate to together and we can see everybody's uh most popular one so currently i think 56 people have voted so you guys are amazing and um it's showing the favorite seasons currently is 345 very interesting so i've got uh some good seasons to come season one is currently the worst season which is interesting because that is the one that got us hooked so i'm excited to obviously see how that changes now you guys can get voting into it now obviously today we are going to be showing our most likes and dislike characters uh of the season you guys have been voting for that absolutely amazing thank you so much we're going to review those obviously in this intro if you guys want to obviously skip towards the uh towards the episode just click the timestamps below also a quick shout out to the the content that's coming to the channel we are going to have Bridgerton uh, so you can be watching that tomorrow it will be on the channel and then hopefully we've got more to come because right now on the Patreon we've got Euphoria Season 1, U Season 3, uh, Team Wolf Season 4 and obviously we're going to have Bridgerton Season 2 loads of stuff coming honestly we've also got peaky blinders season one hopefully we're going to get a season two on there so madness mate the patreon's going absolutely crazy but obviously youtube it takes a lot of time to come on there so all that stuff will come but if you're excited for any of that and get early access please do check it over there you guys are, are fantastic and obviously the content is all for you guys so enough with the mumbling of this uh this introduction it's been an amazing season cannot wait for this finale can't wait to see you guys results i'm just going to show that right now and then we can jump into today's episode so here we are and our most disliked character of this season very interesting you know the list has absolutely extended since season one and two look at all these people who can vote from now all these people who had an impact in the show and it's uh, very good to see now what i've got to say is there's not really been one standout person that i've disliked you know season one we had chris and kate very got on my nerves last season standout by far was gerard proper done my head in that guy it actually really did but here in the dislikes there's not many people there's been a few actions here and there that i've not been a big fan of but in the context of the whole season i don't really dislike anyone much so i'm gonna pick somebody that has only just been introduced towards the back end of the season i've not really liked a personality that is honestly the total reason why and that is obviously kira's mum i've not been a massive fan of her i'm interested to see what everybody picks because i have no idea where to go with this she has just not been I've just not been a big fan of her since she's been introduced. And I have to say, Ethan Aiden and Chris wasn't on the list for the Patreon viewers. I have no idea how I missed those off. You know, they played a big factor in all the seasons. So I don't know. I do apologise. But for the YouTube people, it's on there. If you dislike them, you can vote. But I'm voting for Kira's mum. And I'm interested to see what everybody else picks. So let's go. Okay, and here is the results for season three. Your most disliked character. So Kali has took the lead with 42.62%. So she is way in front. And then obviously the person I voted got in second place right there. 10 votes, Kira's mum. She was annoying in my personal opinion and then we've got scott stad who was introduced obviously he's come third so it's interesting that three new characters kind of that was introduced all of them took the top three spots and uh, it's exciting to see actually that styles has got one dislike you know everybody has, has their own opinion it's good to see allison as well r.i.p she's left the show she got three dislikes i'm interested to see if anyone's voted for her in the most liked characters um but yeah that's currently the vote very good thanks so much for everybody engaging in this one there's quite a lot of people that have voted in this how many people does it say i think more people have voted in the most lights as well so 61 in this one i think we've got like 80 in the other one so it's going to be even better to see and i cannot wait so thanks for clicking on this one let's jump over into the most lights and see if your results follow mine the main one the most liked and disliked characters of season three now i've got to say right as an underrated character and an unsung hero and a big valuable member to the team i've got to give a big up to deaton i think that he has had a good impact on helping everybody this season and he flies under the radar now he's not in the show enough in my personal opinion for him to be a most liked character but he does deserve some recognition for the the role that he plays in helping everybody i think he's really really good now personally i think it's quite funny he's coach he's always funny in all the scenes that he's in i think isaac as well has had a big season in terms of character progression i thought like his storyline with um, allison has been really good and he managed to pull him away from the erica and boyd uh, thing and, and like establish himself as isaac which i've really liked also lydia she's had a fantastic season you know again stand out she had a good one last one with jackson and she's had another solid season but she is taking second place again in my personal opinion because i don't know how anybody can vote for anybody other than styles this season not because of he's funny and he's a good friend and all that that we had in season one and two that was my reasons why i chose him in season one 
because he's acting, his layers, his levels, his personality, everything has stepped up this season and I've really loved it. And that is why. Not because he's been the same continuous character throughout and I'm just enjoying him as him. Because I pick it for the acting and the progression. And that is why Jackson won it last season. And that is why Styles is winning it this one. He's done so, so good. And I'm very excited to see what everybody thinks. Okay, and there we have it, mate. With 60% of the votes, Styles is way in front. Honestly, he's absolutely smashed it out of the park. Do you know what? I absolutely love to see Scott making it into the top three. I have said previously that not many people really pick Scott, considering he's kind of the main character. He's the main focus anyway. Whether you deem him as a main character or not i kind of do even though to me he's not my best character but it's nice to see that he's actually took a top three position now i think lydia's come second place in every single season and she does deserve that hopefully one season she can't edge it towards the top but she is an amazing consistent character throughout the whole show she is so good and i have to be honest yeah styles had to win this season in my personal opinion regardless of anybody else i think that he's acting his storyline everything his dark side was so so good and obviously i personally think that he does deserve all the credit that he has been given and 60 percent of people all agree with that and then obviously a few people have got some votes in there but it's absolutely amazing because like i said on this one we had 80 votes so that is fantastic 80 people took the time to click on this and vote for it and like i said i can't thank people enough for actually taking part because without you guys this would be pointless these would be pointless and uh, you know we wouldn't have this little community going so you guys are absolutely amazing and i do hope you do enjoy today's finale because i'm expecting it to be an absolute wild ride but just before we jump into today's episode i do want to just say again that bridgerton will be coming to the channel tomorrow so hopefully you guys are excited for that and we do have so much other content coming obviously towards a patreon and the youtube in the next coming weeks like i said euphoria started and that's a crazy wild show mate i don't think i've ever seen anything like that that's being uploaded currently onto the patreon so if you're excited please do go over there and it will be coming to the youtube soon as well but that is today's intro hopefully you guys are excited let's jump into episode 24 the finale of season three of team wolf <laughs> first okay say it you called me first it happened so fast that's right how are you doing this that's what we do what a strong man honestly whether you like him or dislike him allison's dead now i guess the only good thing is it looks like i'm dying too the nogitsuna has had sento the advantage until this point what you need is a divine move in order to turn the game around I appreciate the concern, but you don't have to stay. I've dealt with this before. I have an ability to compartmentalize my emotions. I don't. Isn't it interesting to see Chris's character evolve? I think it is. Oh. Lydia's with Scott. We need to go. I'm going to try and convince her to run and hide. And Lydia would never run and hide. Because of Styles? Because of Scott, you don't fight for a leader. You fight for a leader's cause. You want redemption? Find another way to stand and fight. This thing was trapped a long time ago. Before the Nematon was cut down, it doesn't have the same power anymore. When the tree was whole, its wood was sometimes used to contain powerful objects. They can help us cause. Mm. Peter had them in this wooden box with the Triscolet carved in the lid. Hi there. Would you page Melissa McCall for me, please? I mean, can't do that now, can he? Oh, he's just going on an absolute terror. Look at him. Imagine this in real life, honestly. No one could actually stop him. He looks good, though. Come on, man. He looks well good, honestly. Oh, I imagine that taking all your bullets. So I tell Scott that his dad went back to San Francisco. He says he's sorry, but he didn't have time to say goodbye. Press the button? Yeah. Oh. She was making a silver arrowhead. Where is it? Oh, he's figuring out that's what, whatever she done. Maybe this. Yo, look at that. Where is it? It hurts, it hurts like hell. You're gonna need a bigger gun. 
Go on, Sheriff. I don't want that guy to die me. It's all right. I had this sudden rushing feeling. We're running out of time. So, it looks like as... Well, obviously, as the other one's getting stronger, he's getting weaker. But, like, how is he getting stronger? Is it just because the, the longer he's alive, the more power he takes off Styles and gains it himself? And why are they attacking everybody? Why has he gone in the police station? Why have they gone and got Melissa? Do you know what I mean? And they're going after both parents. You know, Styles' his dad, Scott's mum. Very interesting. It looks like some of it went inside of her as well, uh, which is strange. I wonder if it possesses her going forward. Who knows? Imagine that. What a massive twist that would be. But been a good opener, hasn't it? Now, Isaac's thinking that Allison created that, um, you know, created that arrowhead, and that is the one that successfully took down the Nagitsune. I was thinking that as well last episode, but obviously loads of stuff was going on. Now, whatever she put in it, no idea. You know, I'm I would be totally guessing. I'd be put my finger in the air and trying to guess where the wind blows, mate. Honestly, so interesting to see what's going on here. Maybe Alison figured it out, and she definitely wasn't going to say, "Tell my dad I love him," because she's already said that. You know, like she wanted to tell him something, but what was it? Why would she make four of them? She didn't. There's four she more than gets in these, yeah. She made the first one and she figured it out. The bullet that you used to shoot the Oni, was that a silver bullet? Oh, silver bullet. And he said the level on somewhere. Probably went straight through. We can stop them. No. I can. We can kill them. Yeah, they all gassed oh. everyone up. Look at that. Oh, look. Why did they let us live? But if this works, it might kill me too. But even if it does, you just you have to go through with it. Oh, look at this. Melissa, I need to get you out of here. I'm gonna help you to your feet, okay? Yo, Melissa better not die. Be for you and me. I've heard of an alpha pack, Derek, but not a pack of former alphas. Yeah, they look good. Mate, I should have stuck that guy in. You know, bandage man in the most liked and disliked characters. He has been pretty decent. I actually enjoyed every single scene he's been in. Like, very, very good. It's Reese, isn't it, apparently? That's who we're trying to pretend he's inside that. But his teeth look sick. It's very interesting. I'm liking it. Where are these? Are they inside his mind again or what? Are they in present? Is everybody actually there? Where are we? Between life and death. Your die, style. And now everyone you care about is dying too. Yeah, go on, sir. Why are you doing this? To win the game. What is this? This is poison? <laughs> Whatever it is. Ah, oh, it's working fast. <laughs> This can't be real. Yeah, tell that to them. Hey, hey, there's blood on her lips. What does that mean? Yo, mate, I'd be absolutely fuming if she dies. Nah, 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 man. Nah. Who's pulling the trigger on Scott's mum? Like, who sat down and decided Alison and Scott's mum deserves to go? I'm well mad. Like, I actually really like his mum. She does not deserve to die. Giles, no! Do for him what he cannot do for himself. Do it. What's he seeing there? Why well, is in the classroom? No rules left. Divine move. Oh, I forgot this book about this. Boom, mate. Fighting them! It's an illusion! You have to stop fighting them! Oh! oh. oh. oh I thought he got stabbed. Oh, he did get stabbed. Divine move. Oh. Divine move. Do you think you have any moves at all? You can't be a fox and a wolf. Oh. oh. Very interesting. Yeah, Isaac got it. Got him. He's dying. Has he disappeared then? Is he gone? What's happened to him? Oh, so has everyone survived then? I hope the police officer survived. But yeah, he's been pretty good in. What's happening to our styles though? Yo, imagine if, like, he turned into a wolf, but 
you know what I mean? Randomly. I don't know how it would work, you know, Supernatural show, who knows? But has, first of all, that gets in there gone now? Is he done and dusted? See you later. He looks like he was dusted on the floor, but is he not coming back in the show at all? And what is happening with Styles? Maybe because Scott bit him? Yeah, I don't know. Somehow flew onto him. <laughs> no idea, but it's interesting that he's collapsed anyway. He's either regaining his strength or he's losing it or he's turning. Oh, God, I fainted, didn't I? <laughs> oh, he's dying. I've quite sad actually, you know, they've I've been trying to do the right thing for a majority of the back end of the season. Wish I could say something to all of them. He's been through it him though, aren't he? I don't know how much space or how much time I'm supposed to give them. Sometimes ran from cougars trying to eat me. Got the same problem. So what's the <laughs> so slow? She is Allison's replacement. It's okay. You know, don't think about it too much. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking up with me? I just don't think I can do it. Date a werewolf. You do? Dude, it's speaking hills. It was actually it was more like a nightmare. It started with these hunters that caught Peter and me after we left Cora. They broke into my loft. Tell my friend you're going to tell us about La Loba. Where is the she-wolf? Never going to find Cora. Who the hell is Cora? <laughs> Yo, they've teased us, man. They're not going to show up. myths about how people can be turned into a werewolf. Can you get turned by scratch? Oh. Always been shot by Kate. If seeing me is a surprise, watch this. Oh, look at this one, mate. What a transition that was. Her skin changed. What I actually think is interesting is we brought her... We brought her in this season, didn't we? When Alison was having nightmares and visions and she was crawling after her. And then we decided to pull the trigger again, but her into the next season. Very intriguing. I've got to say as well, that's how you that's how you set up a season, you know? Instead of no happy endings or whatever, it's like, oh, what a great episode that was. It's like, whoa, what's, what's going on here? I'll watch the next season. That's how you do it. Again, they've left a season on a cliffhanger after concluding the season that you currently watched. Very good. One of the twins has died. Sadly, the other one has to leave the school. I have literally no problems with that. I get it. Imagine being the twin in real life that got to stay and the other one got written off. How jealous would you be? <laughs> you would be jealous, wouldn't you? Imagine you sat at home knowing your character was dead while your brother got to go and work on this amazing show. You know, you would be so jealous. So I don't mind them uh, writing him out, obviously, because uh, the other one's died. What very interested in is Danny knows that these werewolves going on now. Whether he knew that because of Jackson, you know, who knows? But it's interesting that he knows that and he's not even phased, bothered, not even reported it, not said out. He just kept hush hush, quiet, just living his normal day to day. Very, very intriguing. I wonder if there's more people like that. Malia, yeah, that is what I was calling. I feel like Alison's left and Malia's starting. She's going to be the main cast with Kira as well. You know, the way that she said, oh, you know, I want to stay around. I feel like I'm the new girl. And it's like, not for long. I feel like we've got a trio now, a girl, a little triangle going. And then obviously we've got Scott and Styles still and Derek. So we've got like that triangle, this triangle. Isaac, mate, when he left the house with, um, with Chris, was he leaving, leaving? Like, see you later, alligator. Or was he just like leaving for the day? Um, what's going on there, you know, like, uh, uh, are they going to team up again, will he help Chris take down Kate, you know, she's a wolf, Chris might go after her, he might be, like, phased because it's his sister, it's exciting, you know, it's a good little twist, I did not expect it, but also do know is this season's been great, this episode was decent, I really, uh, really enjoyed the, you know, the action, there was lots of fighting, loads of sword fighting as well, Styles was clever to know that it wasn't uh, real, it was an illusion, you know, he used his brain uh, very well, and again, Deaton, coming to say today, very smart, the guy knew loads of different things, very underrated character, and I'm glad that he didn't die, and I'm so happy that Scott's mum didn't die as well, because it looked like she was a goner. It's going to wrap up the finale of season three of Team Wolf, thank you so much for everybody that is engaged in the channel all the way through up until this point, whether it's just starting this season, whether it's engaging in the polls, leaving a comment, or just hitting the like button, you guys are absolutely amazing, and what a wild ride this has been, you know, we've had one of the twins die this episode, we had Alison die last episode, who looks like we've got Malia being introduced into the season as the main cast moving forward, I can't wait to watch the introduction 
function of the um you no know, the show the the credits mate to see if a new person gets put in there as like a main character because uh when you're in those intros you are a big deal so very very exciting with that one and obviously it'll confirm if allison has left the show now i believe that she has but kate's back so who knows with allison do you know what i'm saying like they could twist and turn it here and there that she may have been cut somehow she might have been slashed she may have drank some water of the puddle of the wolf whatever they, they was just saying who knows all these different possibilities stuff like this could have happened when it was off screen and he could play it into the storyline so again intriguing i do think she's gone though i have to be honest i do think she's gone and i'm very very fascinated to see obviously what's going on with peter hale and how he's going to react when he finds out or finds malia not finds out he found out who she was three episodes ago and he's done nothing since you know it seems like that family have got no trouble in meeting each other and doing anything do you know what i mean like they're just taking it nice and easy but she's going to be joining the school so she's going to be part of the friendship group she's learning already with scott getting the claws out i wonder if she's going to be in a relationship with styles or whether he's going to maybe try it on with lydia seeing as now she's single ready to mingle again even though he must look at it and think anybody that's with Lydia is falling into, <laughs> you know, it's not coming to um, some good times in their life, you know, with Jackson and then obviously um, with uh, with one of them getting killed in this episode, even worse than Jackson. At least he got moved to, to London, didn't he? He's obviously still alive. Um, so really good season. I've enjoyed it. I would rank it uh, season 3 to one actually, in, in the poll so far. If I was taking part in the description below, you guys can too. You know, it's still there. And it will be all the way up until season 6, where we obviously cast mine. But right now, my vote over the three seasons is 3 to one uh, for the, the most liked seasons. And obviously, my overall character if i was to like somebody it would be styles out of the whole entire show i feel like he's amazing and then also i would slap lydia in second place firmly you know no no like ifs and buts about it those two are my top two so far after three seasons there's loads to come and the fact that Derek mentioned Cora as well has hopefully given me a bit of excitement that she may come back in the next coming seasons but who knows can't wait thanks for clicking on today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always i will catch you in season four of team wolf cheers guys